Ah, Steam Play, the thing that gives us Steam Deck gamers access to all the Windows titles we've bought over the years. And some of us still have been playing games on Linux longer than others, but that just makes us more appreciative of the work that Valve has done to make those Windows only games playable. But Valve's Proton isn't the only compatibility tool in town. Indeed, there are community spins of Proton from the likes of Glorious Eggroll and Proton TKG. There's also Boxtron, which makes running your classic DOS games on Steam a more pleasing and headache-free experience, and Roberta for classic LucasArts adventure games running in Scum. However, there's one highly specialized compatibility tool that I want to talk about in today's video. It's called Luxtrapetta, and it's absolutely wonderful. Before we get into what it is and what it does, what the heck is that name? Luxtrapetta. It sounds unsettling. It's one of those words that has so many consonants that instinctually I feel it should feature every single vowel, but it's missing one. So what does Luxtrapetta mean? Where does it come from? Well, that's a great question. A, a cursory Google search yields an answer too. Luxtrapetta was a popular name of a Polish rail car from the 1930s. It's premium, it's premium. And I was over here thinking it was some kind of chimera version of that weird Zuma spinoff Luxor, but with feet, like Luxor Peta. So somehow this video uh, evolved into a strong bad email. So anyway, what even is <laughs> Luxor Peta? Luxtrapetta is a Steam Play compatibility tool which automates the tedium of running native Linux games that aren't actually available through Steam. And you might be thinking, wait, that's a thing? And yeah, it certainly is. For example, if you're like me and you have Duke Nukem 3D Megaton Edition in your Steam library, this also works with Duke Nukem 3D 20th Anniversary World Tour, which there's a link below, you might be well aware that these games are not really that compatible with Linux or Proton. Keyboard and mouse support, especially in Megaton Edition, is spotty to say the least. Uh, it, it never worked for me with a, a Steam controller, and it doesn't work for me when you launch the game on the Steam Deck. It just does not play nicely with Steam input. Plus, neither version ships with a Linux native binary. However, Duke Nukem 3D has been around the block a few times, especially in the Linux world. That's where eDuke32, the source port, comes in. It's a terrific homebrew engine with tons of optimizations for modern Linux distros. So if you wanted to play the eDuke32 version on the deck, you'd have to download the eDuke32 binary, copy that into the correct directory, and then update the game's launch parameters in Steam, and that's just a hassle. And this is where Luxtrapetta actually comes in. Open the game's compatibility tool settings by right-clicking on the game and hitting Properties, and then choose Luxtrapetta and then launch the game. It's really that simple. The Luxtrapetta UI will launch and it'll detect the game that you're running and you'll be able to pick from any of the alternate engines that are available for the game. Now, the greatest thing about this is that it just downloads the files that it needs because you already have the game installed and so all of the graphical assets are there and all you need to do is download the Linux native binary and Luxtrapetta handles all of that. It downloads and configures everything that you need and from there it puts you right into the game. You can even set the specific version of the game engine that you want and set it as default. And then Luxtrapetta will just launch the game from there every time. All of this is done natively. You run the game using native binaries rather than having to use Proton for a Windows client of the game. Another instance is Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Academy. There's also a link below. It has a Windows only icon on the Steam store page, but with Luxtrapetta, you can force the game to use a free, open source and native Linux game client called OpenJK. So in case it's not clear why you would want to use something like Luxtrapetta, it makes official or community made native Linux engines available right through the Steam client. It handles all the annoyances of having to download and set them up individually, and these engines are often much more up to date and can dramatically improve the overall quality of your game experience especially the older games, which are able to capitalize on features of modern platforms like Vulkan, for example, on the Steam Deck. Now, it might go without saying, but Luxtrapetta does not work for every game. In fact, it categorically will not work for most games, and it's not trying to, but there is a list of compatible titles at the link in the description below. Currently, there are over 140 titles that work with Luxtrapetta. Titles like Alien vs. Predator Classic, some of the older Elder Scrolls games, Beneath a Steel Sky, Cave Story Plus, Doom 1 and 2, Doom 3, the aforementioned Duke Nukem 3D, 
Ion Fury, Quake, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, Thimbleweed Park, the classic Tomb Raider series, Unreal Tournament 99, Wolfenstein 3D, and plenty of others. And more will get added over time. Plus, since Lux Trapetta is open source, if you want to help add support for another game, you can either create an issue on the project's GitHub page, or you can try your hand at making a package yourself. Links below. Now, wait a gosh darn minute. Are you enjoying this video? Do you like this kind of informative type of video? Make sure you like that smash button and just tease that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with all the cool stuff that we're doing here on the channel. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the summer, and I think with your help, we can do it. And thanks. All right, all this sounds good to you, right? But how do you actually install and use Lux Trapetta? Now, the easiest way that we can make use of Lux Trapetta on the deck is by using a tool called Proton UpQT. And Proton UpQT not only includes the easy installation of Lux Trapetta, but it also allows downloading and installation of other Steam Play compatibility tools. Things we mentioned like GE Proton, uh, Boxtron, Proton TKG, and others. And even better is the fact that the application is available on Flathub, making installation on the deck fairly trivial. Simply head over to the Discover app while in desktop mode, search for Proton Up QT, and install it. Alternatively, you can install the app via the command line with flatpack install flathub net.davidotech.pupgui2. After the app has been installed, look for it in the app launcher panel. The installation directory should already be set in the window that opens. And if it's not, click the three dots button and set the path from there. It should be home deck dot steam root compatibility tools dot D. Click add version in the main window and in the new window that opens, select Lux Trapetta from the drop down menu for compatibility tool. Leave version set as its default choice. At the time of recording this video, Lux Trapetta is version 55. Simply click install and let the compatibility tool download. It'll then be installed into the compatibility tools dot D directory. Now, go back to gaming mode and Lux Trapetta should be available as an option when forcing a specific Steam Play tool. So in the case of a game like Ocean's Heart, I would go to my Steam library, look for the game, press start, and then go to properties. Under the compatibility tab on the left, check the box for force the use of specific Steam Play compatibility tool. In the drop-down menu that now appears below it, select Lux Trapetta from the list. The game may take a few seconds to update as it needs to download the appropriate engine for your game, but you should now be able to play the game with a native Linux engine. It's as easy as that, and gamepad buttons should work out of the box with Steam input. Note that some games may prompt you for what engine you want to use, as they are compatible with multiple engines. In the case of Sega Genesis Classics, if you try to run the game with Lux Trapetta, you'll be prompted for what game you want to actually run. You can navigate across the options with the D-pad and then press A to run the game or engine. You can also press Y to set that engine as default, thus eliminating the prompt every time you run the game. If you want to see the prompt again, you can simply delete the default engine choice.txt file found in uh, .config Lux Trapetta app ID while in desktop mode. If you'd like to learn more about the project, you can view the readme file on the project's GitHub page, or you can read the article by Liam over on Gaming on Linux. On that note, I'd like to know what you guys think. Have you checked out the Lux Trapetta compatibility list? What games would you like to see added to that list? Leave me a comment and let me know. I would love to hear from you. I want to give a special shout out to my patrons and my YouTube members. It's because of you guys that I've been able to grow this show into what it is today. So thank you. If you believe in the work that I'm doing and you want to help support this show, you can use the links below to become a patron or a YouTube member. It's all greatly appreciated. But that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day and I'll see you next time.